Hello! I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, today I am making a candy. And this candy was made in Barbados. When I was young, when I was a little girl, and you're going to town, there was only certain people that made it. And you're going to town, you could see it in people's street. <coughs> People used to have a tray, and in that tray, they sold something called comfort, okay? They sold peanut brittle comfort. There was another candy called Black Boo, I don't want to call the name, and something called Roly Poly, okay? Now, I'm trying to bring back some of Barbados art because a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of it is disappearing. Because uh, I know for a fact, and then, or I should say I believe, a lot of those older people, they kept their recipes a secret. They didn't tell you the recipes. And a lot of them have died and gone on, and the recipe has just gone on with them. Okay? But comfort is something that was made in Barbados years ago. I don't know if people still sell it. But if they don't, I think it should really get, people should really get back into making it. Now comfort, you're going to be surprised to know is something that you eat every day. But it's not called comfort, it's candy cane. And you all eat candy cane every day. You all eat it, but you don't associate the two together. So cotton, so um, candy cane and comfort is exactly the same thing and they are made exactly the same way so we're gonna talk more about this in a little while because we're gonna talk and I'm gonna give you something to think about Here the candy cane originated okay so this is something for you to ponder on a few minutes while I go on and start to make this candy cane or comfort and we'll talk about it some more okay so to get started I have here oh and by the way, before I get started here, I must say to you, I found this recipe. Thank you, Bajan Brittle. I found this um, video on YouTube. It's called Bajan Brittle. If you guys want to know about Bajan dishes, you can check that out. And there's a lady named Grace Franklin that was on that um, show that made the comfort. So when I saw her made the comfort, I was like, yes, comfort. And then when she made it exactly the way she made it, it was like, oh my goodness that's candy cane okay so we're gonna talk about that some more so let's go on and get started so to get started here I have two cups of white sugar I'm gonna use here I'm gonna pour that in there and I have here now Grace didn't use this but I'm using this I have here um, half a cup of corn syrup that I'm gonna add to that Corn syrup is just sugar. Just another set of sugar right there. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. Okay, this is half a cup of water. I don't think I'm going to use the full half a cup. I'm going to use maybe like a quarter of this to the sugar water. You don't want to add too much water, just enough to come to the top. And that's it. Now, I'm going to put this on my stove. So guys, this is exactly what I have in here. So I have my stove at medium. Now Grace said, when I listen to Grace, she said, don't stir it, don't do anything to it. Because when you stir it, what happens is the sugar crystals form around the pot and then it falls back into the and it messes the whole thing up. So she says not to stir it, I'm not stirring it, okay? So I'm leaving it on my medium right now and then when once it come up to a little boil, I'm gonna put it on low and just leave it, go do what you got to do, leave it on low and let it come um, to a boil and then I'll check back in later and show you exactly what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. It is bubbling away. My stove is on low and I am going to leave it for a few minutes before I take it out and let it continue to bubble there for a little bit. Oh no. Alright guys, so when you have your syrup here and you don't have a thermometer there's a candy thermometer you don't have a candy thermometer to, to test the temperature to see if it's ready another way to do it is to have a glass of cold water and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take a little bit of the candy mixture right here and I'm gonna drop it in the cold water okay 
drop it in the cold water you see it's ready and then you take it out and see if it's pliable you see that guys see how it is so I know it's ready the mixture is ready so now I'm gonna turn the stove off I'm going to set it here leave it there for a few minutes just a few minutes to cool and then I'm gonna pour it on to my mat all right guys so this is my liquid here my syrup for my cut for my candy cane so what I'm gonna do right now is I have in here some mint this is mint extract because I don't have mint oil so I'm using two tablespoons so I'm gonna pour that it's gonna bubble up for a little bit give it a little stir here It's strong. Woo. It burns. Okay. Oh. Whew. This clears your nostrils, guys. It clears your nostrils. Let that bubble up for a bit. So what I'm gonna do at this stage guys is I'm gonna take some of this half of this I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour here that's probably that's probably a little more than half it's probably about half we're gonna average it as half I'm gonna work with that this one guys this set right here I have my oven on to 200 so I'm gonna put this in the oven so that it would stay warm while I work with this one and then I'll come back to this okay now what I want to do here is I want to give this a red color so I have my color um, some food coloring right here and I am going to put some in the center to give it a red color in the meantime I can't touch that because it is extremely extremely hot so what I have here is some gloves that I'm going to put on to help me to be able to manipulate that okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I have a regular pair of gloves right here and I have these gloves right here so I'm going to put this over here because that is very hot to touch so if you're gonna do it guys get yourself some gloves there's those gloves for hot foods because this is very difficult to put on like this and it's also very hard to maneuver and do what you gotta do but you gotta protect your hands so you need something to protect your hands so if you don't have the regular hot gloves you put these on it'll work that mint is strong guys but what you would do is use mint oil I could not find mint oil I went to the health food store I went to the supermarket I went to a few other places and there nobody had mint oil so I have mint extract so I use that instead and it's pretty strong so let's see so now for this so now this is what I'm gonna do Ooh. I'm gonna take this and bring it up it's still hot need to cool a little more guys if you do this it's very hot to the touch so you have to you have to put your gloves on
Okay, you gotta work with it. This, I don't know if I mentioned guys, this is a silicone mat. And and this silicone mat helps it to, to release it, okay? So you can't just do this on your regular counter or just a regular mat. You need a silicone mat, okay guys? See? So now, this is at this stage here I have my gloves on but this is still extremely hot so you're gonna keep folding it in on itself folding it in on itself Not as red as I would like it to be. I'm gonna put a little more food coloring in there. Just to get a little bit darker red. And keep folding it in on itself. I work on the other one I'll put this in the oven so as to keep it my oven is at 200 and that's just to keep it pliable so it doesn't dry out and get hard I don't want it to get hard okay so I'm gonna put this in the oven I'll take the other one pouring this one is in the oven the other one I put in the oven guys and this one right here is the one I had in the oven that now we're gonna work with okay so I'm gonna pour this out here and let me get something to kind of get all of that out of here. Let's see how it is right here. Still a little hot. Still hot. I saw that lady, Grace did this with her hand. Grace, I don't know how you did it, girl, because this thing is hot. Okay, while I'm waiting, guys, for that to cool a little bit, let me just say something. I proposed a question to you earlier, and I asked you if you know where candy cane was originated, right? That was my question I asked you. Well, I was looking that up online, and it says that no one knows for sure where it was originated but they believe it was originated in Germany because the choir master had given his choir boy some sugar sticks and they believe that's where it originated now I'm thinking that I you know I've been thinking about this and I was thinking I don't think that's where it originated and let me tell you why I think that way and I could be wrong but let me tell you why we grew up in the islands where the older people, the older generations used to make comfort, right? You guys that's old in my age remember comfort because I don't know if people make comfort now. Every time I go to Barbados, I've never seen it, right? But recently I saw, as it said, Grace, um, make it. Grace from Beige and Biddle made it and I was like, oh, comfort. Because I remember comfort as a little girl. Now I watched the way she made comfort and then I went online and I looked up to see if you know if anybody else was making it. But I, what I saw was cotton, uh, was candy cane. And the exact same way that um, Grace made her can't her, the exact way that Grace made her comfort is the exact way that candy cane is made. So I was like, hello, our 
generation was making comfort. They called it comfort. Now, we all came from the motherland, Africa. We were all dumped throughout the Caribbean, right? And everybody came with their own recipe. So if you live in a, a different part of the island and you all make um, candy cane over there, tell me what it's called because it's the same thing. If you look at this, the way I'm making this, this is what we call comfort in Barbados, but this is what you guys eat whenever candy cane <laughs> okay candy cane you see anything i still listen we had the islands is is a tourist industry but i could speak just for barbados because that's where i grew up right i can't really speak for the other islands but i believe the other islands might be the same thing but barbados had you know always had tourists as a tourist industry and my guess is that somebody came to the islands whether it's Barbados or one of the other islands, and see somebody making this candy, and was like, ooh, that looks so good, it tastes so good. Got the recipe, went back, and changed up a couple ways of how they design it, and hello, a new candy was born, and they call it candy cane instead of comfort. That's, that's my guess. When the kids in Barbados was little, around my age group, when they were little, I remember the boys, because I think I used to make some too, used to make scooters. Remember scooters, guys? The boys used to make scooters. They used to go get a piece of wood, and they used to, when the, the parents finished with a tin of milk, they used to get that tin, cut it in half, push it together and used to make wheels. Do you remember that? They used to make wheels and put on the bottom of those boards and they used to go skating all over the place, right? I would bet that some tourists went to the island, saw somebody, some kids doing that, went back and what? They have all kind of skateboards and scooters about this place that the kid, that, that bought. But those things were originated in because when we were little we didn't have toys and stuff to play with so the kids had to go make their own stuff right so that's one of the things that i remember the boys used to make they used to make scooters and you would see those little boys with holes in the pants and stuff scooting about all over the place with a scooter that they made and their mother got caught and tell her come in and get something to eat because the outside building they used to be building right so those are the things i remember remember guys um when when you they always had somebody in the area that used to make mugs remember i know it's bring back a lot of memories for you guys but my grandmother when she opened a can of this is hot so that's why i'm talking to you when my grandmother opened a can of milo and the milo gone there's a man in the district that used to make cups or mugs out of those milo so you take it to him and whatever he did to the rim of it and he used to make a handle and put the handle on it and used to got a really good cup or mug or whatever you're gonna call it to make your tea because i remember grandma used to make her tea and that stuff we used to drink from that stuff now you gotta go pay a lot of money for that stuff because all of those things were art back then that a lot of people had that right now that I guess they didn't share or something. I don't know. Maybe people didn't want to learn it. I don't know. But those are things that is dying art. Maybe people still do them. But I remember them growing up in my district. I didn't cost much. Took my gloves off because it's hard for me to do anything with the gloves on. But the gloves, you need the gloves, especially in the first stage, because it's very hot. You see that part there that sticks? That's still hot. So you need your gloves, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to pull it, watch your hands, you're going to pull it and stretch it, okay? Pull it and stretch it. And it's going to turn white. Pull it and stretch it. We're making comfort, guys. Better known as candy cane. 
Christmas is coming. Now you know how to make candy cane with the kids and decorate your house. But this is not easy to make. And I'm going to explain it in a while. Just let me do this. And I'm going to explain what you need to look for and what you need to do. Okay? But keep stretching it. Stretch it. It's still hot at this stage. I took my gloves off. It's still hot at this stage. But you gotta pull it. And keep stretching it, guys. I'm pulling it. Normally those people that make it, they have like a, a hook and they put it on the hook and it falls down and then they take it and put it back up and it keeps doing that. Guys, you just give it a good stretch. Good pull. See? And this is good. Ooh. Just pull it and stretch it. Okay. So I'm going to pull it right now. Excuse me. I have a scissors here. I'm going to cut it in half here. To make it easier to work with. Get off of there. Cut this in half. Stay over there. And I'm gonna rest these pieces in the oven so that they could want stay warm while I work. Get off of there. Get off of there. Okay, guys. While I work on the others, I can put this in the oven for a few minutes. Keep this piece out. I'm going to work with that piece. Okay, guys, so I have this piece and I have this. Now, now let me show you. This is exactly the same thing, but many people in the islands made comfort this is the way they made the comfort they took the, the piece like this and they cut it maybe like what the older people did is they'll take the comfort they'll cut it like that okay guys and then they'll take a piece of the they'll take a piece of the red and they'll stick it like that who remembers that right comfort and they'll stick it like that and that's how they sold it right Guys, this is how the comfort was sold in Barbados. Now, let me show you. So, this is how, as I said, they would make the comfort. Now, so, this is how they would make the candy cane. So, what they do is they take the two pieces and kind of fuse them together like this. I'm going to cut this end right here off. I'm going to cut that off, right? And you put the two pieces like this, and then gently you're going to roll it. Okay? And then you're going to roll it. And you're going to roll it. 
You can roll it to the length that you want, to the thickness that you want. You can do it to the thickness that you want, guys. And then what you do here is you take the top of it and you bend it like that. And then you cut a piece of it like that. And then you've got your candy cane, right? And then you do the same thing again. And I'm gonna use this as, to make sure that I kind of get them kind of uniform there. And you cut, cut another piece. And we're gonna then, then you're gonna just set this aside to um, to harden. And you're gonna set it aside right here. Though you're thin, you can make it fatter. And guys, I'm just gonna put it over here so I can use this board. And you're just gonna leave them for a little bit because they have to harden. Guys, these are not perfect, but you get the general idea of how to make candy cane and the difference between candy cane and comfort. Finishing this up, guys. So this over here, as I said, is my comfort. And over here is the candy cane same thing I put a piece there I'm sure theirs were much neater than mine and guys that's how you make candy cane and comfort same thing who knows where it originated who knows i don't know but guys now let me tell you about this this is the first time that i made this and i challenged myself it is not an easy job so if you want to do it you have to be up for the challenge because it's a challenge so let me tell you this is the fourth time i've made this the first time I made it, I did not, I, as I tell you in the beginning, not to stir, right? What you have to do is you have to stir it in the beginning and then you have to clean around the edges where there was sugar on the edges and then leave it. I didn't do that. I just left it. It would happen. It clogged up on the inside and then it had sugar crystals. So I ended up throwing that out and started over for the second batch. The second batch... I did it, I walked away for two seconds, and then it turned to caramel. It was very dark to turn to caramel. So I was like, oh my God, now I gotta start over again. So then my third, I made it, and I didn't, I don't think I left it in long enough, and it was not pliable, it was soft, like more like jelly, so I had to throw that out and start again. And this is my um, fourth batch. But what I did is I went and I bought a thermometer, a candy thermometer to monitor because it is the syrup that you're making. You have to have it right, just right. Because apparently there's soft boiled and hard, hard, hard boiled, you know, the different temperatures that you have to boil the syrup at. And I wasn't aware of that. So I went and I bought a thermometer and that worked out perfect. So I made these. Now when you make these, 
The other thing now is when you're manipulating it and you're doing it, you need to be able to keep it warm while you're working on another batch. Now, I put it in my oven to keep it warm. I have my oven at 200. The oven was a little bit too hot, so I made it too hot. Blah, blah, blah. It, it was a nightmare but anyway I managed to get it done and this is the procedure of how it is done so if you want to do it go ahead you might be up for the challenge you can challenge it but it's not easy but I did it so persistent guys persistent is the key and this is it I just wanted to show you not that I want to make a perfect candy cane but I want to show you that comfort and candy cane is the same thing where did it originated from who knows ask my ancestors right but I just want to show you that guys I am so glad and I guess I should taste this for you right a piece of candy after working so hard I'll taste the um, the comfort I'll taste the comfort pepperminty guys it's good if you want to make it with the kids go ahead and make some with the kids it was fun it was fun not fun fun not fun i, I don't know if they explain anything because the it was hard work i'm sweating but it's okay guys I had fun just write me and tell me what you think where you think maybe it originated give me your opinion okay I, I love to read your opinions just give me your opinion on what you think and if you're from a different country um, Jamaica Trinidad wherever you may be from and you make this also but you call it by a different name just let me know okay I am so glad you guys were able to join me today thank you so much for being here don't forget to share like subscribe and leave me a comment I love to read your comments and if you've watched the video this far guys and you have not subscribed just go ahead and subscribe press that red subscribe button and that little bell just press that bell and it will tell you every time I put a video up you will be notified I had fun making these and I hope you have some fun experimenting and making some for yourself. Until next time, bye bye.